Yeah, hi there. These comments are for someone uh, at uh, Quora.com. You posed a question, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of comments on this one. It says, how did you study for TOEFL? Now, I'm going to give you the uh, kind of an alter, alternate perspective here. So I teach over at California State University, San Bernardino. I've been teaching TOEFL preparation courses now since 1994, so about 22 years or so. Uh, also, I have an online TOEFL course. It's called the Seven Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. So I have a pretty good idea about how students prepare and what they do, what works, what doesn't work, and so on. And I'm going to tell you one thing, I'll be honest with you. Uh, if you're serious about the TOEFL, don't be like many students. I just talked to somebody today. Before joining my course, she had taken the TOEFL four times. So she spent $800 on taking the TOEFL test and she still had not reached her required subtotal scores. So first of all, I'm going to give you four specific things that I think are effective for you to help you study for the TOEFL IBT exam. Number one, take a full-length IBT TOEFL practice test, first of all. That's my first advice. You need to take a TOEFL practice test if you have not taken the TOEFL, and a TOEFL practice test will cost you between about $30 and $40, and hey, it's a lot cheaper than spending $200 on the TOEFL exam. Take the practice test first. Secondly, email me. I will put my email address uh, in this message to you. You can email me and tell me what your practice test score is. So I need to know what your overall score is and what your subtotal scores are in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Now once you've done that, you need to also tell me what your goal is. How high of a score do you need to get? And what required subtotal scores do you need in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing? So what I'll do is, is I will compare your practice test score with your goals and then I can figure out the best study plan that's going to help you reach your goals. Now number three, as you, as you begin my recommended study plan, start sending me pronunciation, speaking, and writing practice tests on a daily basis or at least on a weekly basis so you can start getting feedback. Now, once you've studied the, for the recommended period of time, I might recommend that you study or use my course for one month. I might recommend two, maybe three, maybe even four months. Depending on my recommendations, once you've studied for that required length of time, you should take another full-length IBT practice test, this time to see how close you are to your target scores. So if you're close, then that means you're ready to take the TOEFL exam. So that's how I, if I were you, that's how I would study for the TOEFL exam. And I promise you, if you follow this recommended method, you will save yourself a lot of money. Alrighty? For more information, you can go to my course. You can go to my online TOEFL course website at onlinetoeflcourse.com. Alright?